Time. Does it exist? Well, yes, there is a thing called time. But what about duration? The experience of time taking up time. Does that exist? This is Arbitraria. I'm Nick. Hi. Here's a little story about the experience of duration. When I was six years old, I got a new watch. It was digital and it had a stopwatch. And for some reason, I became really obsessed with trying to use the stopwatch and getting one second exactly without looking at it. So I'd hit it and I'd try and stop it right on one second. If I hit a second, it was euphoria. If I was off by three hundredths of a second, devastation. Say what you will about how much fun my childhood was, I started to be able to measure one second very accurately. Now, the interesting thing is, to this day, I can still feel what that second felt like. And if I do the same thing, and I use a stopwatch now, I get something like this. Usually somewhere around 1.2 seconds. In other words, perhaps my psychological experience of a second is the same, but the measurable time that elapses has increased by 20% since I was a kid. I know this is not scientific, but is that some sort of evidence that the experience of time as a child is very different from your experience of time as an adult? Imagine there were no living organisms in the universe to experience duration. Would the universe have duration? Or would the universe exist more like a four-dimensional solid with three space dimensions and the other dimension capturing sort of configurational changes? If time and space were created together, then outside this universe, our time would be a static dimension like space. There would be no uniform shared time outside the universe. Time doesn't even line up in our own universe. If you travel for one year at 99% the speed of light, everything else will have aged seven years in that time. So your experience of duration would be one seventh what someone on Earth would experience. See, you might take your experience of duration as the speed the universe really moves at. But this is an illusion. Take one second. You may feel that you are conscious for a duration of time that really exists. A speed of the universe. A one second of universe. But what would happen if I could pause your brain? If I took every chemical process, the position and state of every neuron, every atom, and froze it in place? what would your experience be? Of course, you would experience nothing. If I froze your brain right now for one year, then instantly thought it, your personal experience would be a sudden change in everything around you. You wouldn't know that it was a year that had passed. And what if I was to double the speed of every process in your brain? All the cognition that you do in one hour would take you half that time. So if it takes you 20 minutes to finish a Sudoku, you'd finish it in 10. You would perceive an hour as taking twice as long to elapse. This is similar to how computers can perform twice as many operations if you double their clock speed. For that computer, more can be done in a single unit of time. Perception of duration is a direct result of the speed that your brain processes are running at. And those processes are governed by biology, chemistry, and physics. The duration of a second only appears that way because the configuration of the chemicals in your brain are being dragged around at the speed they happen to be dragged around at. Drag them faster, and the world, relatively speaking, moves more slowly. Drag them more slowly, and the world moves by quickly. This isn't just theoretical. This has been shown to happen in animal brains. Researchers have done this by measuring different species' flicker fusion threshold, or the speed at which a quickly flashing light appears as solid. For humans, that happens at 60 flashes per second, which is why we see fluorescent lights not as flashing 120 times per second, but as continuous light sources. The idea is that using these measurements, we can determine the relative speeds at which different animal brains experience time itself. Based on that research, a dog experiences time that flows 33% slower than our time. A leatherback turtle experiences time flying by at four times faster than human time. But if some brains can experience time four times slower than us, why not 40 times or 4 million times slower than us? It should be possible for a massive galactic turtle to experience time so slowly it could witness the birth and death of the universe in what would feel to us like seconds. One amazing thing about time perception is that the speed the universe is moving actually doesn't matter because your brain is moving in lockstep with it. Now imagine that instead of pausing your brain, I can pause the entire universe. What would that look like to you? Would it look like anything? Let's say I pause the universe and every particle in it. During that time, you would experience nothing. 
If I then unpause the universe, you would continue your life, and everything would continue on as before. And you wouldn't notice anything whatsoever. All your sensory inputs would pause, then resume. All your cognitive functions would pause, and then resume. Your consciousness would perceive nothing out of the ordinary. So if I paused the universe for a billion years, then unpaused it for one second, then paused it for a billion years, and then unpaused it for a second, and so on forever, you wouldn't notice anything. Your brain and the universe would start, stop, start again, and it would feel uninterrupted. And if I were to triple the speed of the universe, you also wouldn't notice a difference. Let's say the universe is a simulation, and I slowed it down to one billionth of the speed it's going now. The clock's ticking by real slow. You wouldn't notice a difference. Your perception of duration is entirely based on the flow of your own brain processes in the universe. Run the universe slow or fast, you see, it doesn't matter. In this way, the speed of the universe is irrelevant. It's not moving at any kind of speed. Your brain is. All that matters is how fast your brain is moving. So it doesn't mean anything to say that the universe has duration. Because perhaps the universe appeared and disappeared in an instant. Whatever that means. Or if it's a simulation in another universe, it was run in a fraction of a second. You would still perceive the same slow flow of your own lifetime a small island of consciousness that perceives time and duration only through the changes in itself. The sense of duration simply doesn't exist outside of brains reflecting on their own changing interiors. Because what sense would that make? It's like the tree falling in the forest. Without brains to witness their own chemistry being dragged around by the processes of biology and physics, creating a conscious sense of time passing, the universe would be gone in an instant. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more. Yeah, I mean, you might say it's strange that I spent a lot of time trying to capture one second on my watch, but there were no iPhones then. I was very young. I was an only child uh, for a while anyway, uh, for long enough that I could have my watch fun. Um, I. I had some friends, but at that time I didn't have the most friends, so my friend was my wristwatch, and my wristwatch was simple, and so I used a lot of the stopwatch. Uh, I don't know what to tell you to try and defend myself. I don't think I should have to. Different, different strokes for different folks, right? Uh, mine just happened to be um, waterproof to 50 meters. <laughs>